Hi, I'm Zach with Wisconsin Bourbon Bros, and I'm bringing you today the legendary E.H. Taylor Small Batch. I can't wait to dive into this. First time having it. I'm going to give you my review in two minutes or less. All right, shall we go and nuzzle in, get a little bit of nose? <sighs> wow, fresh, I'm feeling fresh. Uh, I get a little bit of vanilla in there, but I'm getting a lot of fruit coming through. Let's go in for a little bit of a taste, huh? Mm. This to me is delicious um, for my palate. We got some definite high rye um, in this mash bill. It's got that nice, robust, spicy rye. I love that. Also, it's got a nice finish of a, of a sweet vanilla, I would say. Instead of that caramel that you typically would get in a bourbon, I feel we're getting some fruitiness like we we're getting on the nose. Maybe some apricot, some mango. Brandon, the other Wisconsin bourbon bro, likes these little Mexican suckers that got a spice on the outside. I think on the inside it's mango. Um, it kind of reminds me of that. For the finish, it's got a decent linger. Um, it's only 100 proof. It's got a nice warmth to it, but not a huge hug. It's not like that grandmother's hug we're looking for. Coating though is a little bit quick for me. Um, it doesn't coat heavy. Uh, I would say it's more of a, of a medium coat. Final thoughts on the E.H. Taylor. Um, I love the history of this guy, first of all. Um, I think he did a lot for the bourbon industry. Um, I actually really like this bourbon personally. There's definitely some downsides if you're looking for that classic bourbon flavor, but if you're looking for a nice rye spice, this is definitely um, something that delivers.